CCNA Security Real World Labs, what you really need to know. Every time I take an IT exam, I ask the following question. Okay, there are a lot of topics. What do I really need to know? It's a very important question. And that's, that's the idea, that, that's the reason why I recorded this series, because I wanted to show you what, what you really need to know. And here we are talking about CCNA security and network security in general. When I, when I look at the CCNA security exam, I can tell you that in my opinion there are three really important topics that you should focus on. Firewalls, VPNs and authentication. I will try and tell you why I think it is a good idea to focus, focus on these areas. Please, uh, I, I want to make sure we're on the same page here. I'm not saying that, well, what about IPS? Oh, uh, okay, what about, well, what, what else do we have? <laughs> that's, that's the core of CCNA. Okay, what about LAN security? It's not important, dot one X? Of, well, that, that's authentication, really. That's, okay. You, you get the idea, right? Everything is important, but every time you take an exam or what's more important, you, and you want to apply these things in the real world, you have to make sure that you know the core of this topic. In my opinion, a network security engineer should focus on these three areas, firewalls, VPNs and authentication. If you work as a security engineer, that's what your main focus is on. Of course, well, I had a project and my main focus was LAN security, dot one X. Uh, I had a project where my main focus was uh, on IPS, yeah? Uh, of course, it all depends, but that's the core of CCNA security. First of all, it is firewalls, right? So the first thing is firewalls. Oops, that's that's not good. Okay, the first is firewalls. What I mean by that is that it's not only ASA firewalls or UTM devices. It is the zone-based firewall on a Cisco router. You should have you should have a very good idea how it works from this CLI. Please forget about Cisco Configuration Professional. Forget about that application. Make sure that you know how you can do that from this CLI. You, you cannot deploy a Cisco Edge router without a firewall. Yeah, you, you have to enable it. And we are talking about, uh, let's say, 881, right? That is a small office, home office router. You, you have to know uh, how to enable a firewall on a router like that. VPNs. Of course, VPNs are everywhere, guys. Okay, you, you cannot get away. And I'm talking about side-to-side -side VPNs and especially about, about remote access VPNs, SSL, IPsec. L2TP, PPTP, and so on. Not only Cisco, again, you can use PP, PPTP on a Microsoft Windows Server box as well. Make sure that you understand how VPNs work and you know how you can enable, for instance, SSL VPNs on a Cisco firewall or remote access VPNs. Really important. Authentication. I decided to add this topic because uh, every time people ask me CCNA security, what's important? I always say firewalls and VPNs. In the last couple of years, I have added authentication to it as well because it goes with these two topics really. And it has become really, really popular in the last in the last couple of years because of VPNs, yeah? 
if you want to set up a new VPN, you, you, you have to have a solution in place to authenticate your users. We're talking about AAA, Radius, TACAX, and so on, right? You have to have a very good idea where to start, how to start, advantages of the local databases or uh, Radius servers. And yes, again, I will say you need to know Windows Server. It can be 2008 or, oops, that's not 98, or 2012, it doesn't matter. As a security engineer, you can be asked to enable a Radius Server on Windows Server 2008. Yes, it might be a job for a Cisco security engineer. Again, with uh, authentication, you, I, I recorded a few lectures dedicated to that, where I show you, for instance, two-factor authentication, a solution that is really popular today, and a lot of network engineers decided to, they have decided to implement that. Not really, not, not difficult, a lot of solutions available authentication for wireless. There is WPA, WPA2, you can use a pre-shared key or an enterprise version of that with .1x and you can use a Radius server, Active Directory, to authenticate your users. It's really important to understand all these topics. And that's what, that's what I uh, I decided to focus in in my CCNA security real world training firewalls, VPNs and authentication. Of course I talk about UTM devices, I talk about LAN security and so on. I think these three topics are the most important ones. Now you ask, okay, how can I learn, how can I gain some experience in these areas? Again, we go back to our lab and the discussion that we had. You need a real network. A lab is great. If you have a lab, that's awesome. You can set up a site-to-site -site VPN, that's great. But nothing will replace a real network. What you should do to learn firewalls, VPNs and authentication is really simple. You should take a Cisco router. Connect it to the internet. Here, you should have a Windows Server 2008. That's it. If you want to deploy a router over here, you need a firewall. Then you want to connect to this network remotely. What do we need? A VPN. If you want to have a VPN, you need... You, you have to set up an authentication solution. You can use the local database and later on you can use this box, Windows Server 2008 or 12, it doesn't matter, and you can deploy Active Directory over here and authenticate your VPNs using Active Directory Radius. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Windows Server 2008, there is a trial version, you can download it from the internet, I don't, it's 180 days, I think, something like that. Of course, you can use free radius for Linux and Windows as well, if you want. Cisco device, not expensive. You can get a Cisco router for £50 or an ASA firewall for £100. And that's, that, that is all you need to implement all these features. What's really important there is one thing that is really important. It is going to be a real network, right? You will have a real firewall, a real VPN, and authentication. You will have an Active Directory, domain controller, you will have Radius, servers running, everything set up in a way that it is like in the real world, in a small office, home office network. Yeah, it's really important to do it that way. 
Thank you very much.